I'm here with Marcel DeBose. He uh, just won the Junior Greco National Championship at 215 pounds. Um, Marcel, so uh, you know you've been to Fargo a couple times. You've been to the finals. You've been a All American a handful of times. You've been here. You know, what's it feel like now that you finally uh, you finally got your your goal, your your national champ? Uh, it just feels like uh, it feels like I'm gonna have to do a lot of more hard work. You know, uh, quest is uh, almost over, I guess. But uh, just, just more hard work, basically, that's all it means. Alright, alright. Um, you know, right after the second period, the match was over, and uh, you, you looked like you looked like you didn't know that you won. Explain to me, you know, walk me through what uh, what was going through your, your head as you, you, know, you looked up and you realized that you were a national champ. It was like, uh, tell you the truth, it was kind of quiet for me to just have to be the four-time national champ. So it was like, I had to, like, Make sure I won. Like, I knew I won, but I had to make sure. Like, wait a minute, we're not going to the third. I was like, like, it's over. Like, I just beat him, you know, because I've been wanting to beat him for about like three years now. So uh, that's all it was. I just had to make sure I won. All right. Um, your match. I mean, your match was was a, it was really exciting. You came out. You threw him right off the bat. Um, you know, was that your game plan going in to get right after him, or yeah. you just kind of took what came? Or? It was, it, you know, uh, I wrestled him in freestyle. I know he couldn't handle the pressure, so I came out of him in freestyle, like, last year, and I went hard on him. He still beat me, but I was out of shape last year. I know that this year I had a little bit more conditioning on my side, so I knew if I went out there and smacked him up, you know, just uh, did I just did what he wasn't used to, you know, a lot of yeah. people were scared of him back when. You know, I wasn't worried this year. You know, I didn't really have anything to be worried about, that's all. It worked out for you. Um, throughout the tournament, you know, what was your uh, what was your mindset as you went, you know, from one match to the next? Uh, just take it one second at a time. Don't rush anything, just just basically just stay focused mentally. That's been my biggest thing out here, just no mental relapses, that's all. That's, that's basically it, just take it. I was trying to take it one second at a time. That's it. Um. All right. Well, now that you're, uh, you know, you're, uh, you finally did it. You're a national champ. Um. You gonna, you gonna go out there and freestyle and give these guys an uh, encore performance? No, I don't think I'm gonna go get any freestyle, man. I, I tell you, too, man. Only reason I've been coming out before I go was for Greco. You know, freestyle just been, been here for me. But uh, Greco has just been my thing, like. I'm just a Greco guy to tell you the truth. Freestyle folks are really not my thing. All right, well, uh, congratulations, Marcel. You got any uh, shout-outs, anyone you want to thank? Yeah, I'm going to thank my coaches first. Uh, I want to thank myself for at least attempting every morning to wake up and run and go do something, unlike I did last summer coming out here. I want like to uh, thank the Marsikis. Um, they made it possible for me to come out here this year. You know, it was like a last minute thing. I gave them a call and they told me that they helped me out. And uh, I just want to thank any, everybody, anybody and everybody who helped me out. You know what I mean? Anything. Anything they've done. Whether it was come pick me up, take me somewhere. You know, just everybody, basically. Everybody I know I want to thank. That's how it is. All right, congratulations, Marcel. Yeah.